to my channel, Stop by Shayna. In this week's video, I will be talking to you about spring work closet. Yes, I know ladies, the new season is here and we're all done to add new pieces to our closet, right? So let's go and see what kind of closet I have put together for the spring. So I started building the closet based on a good foundation and a good foundation in any career closet is a suit set. I found this beautiful, pretty feminine suit set from Ann Taylor and I actually fell in love with the jacket because I thought it's so pretty, it's so feminine and instead of having your traditional menswear collars, I found this one to be way more flattering and this kind of blazer looks actually good with skirts and dresses way more than your traditional suiting. So obviously I got the matching pencil skirt and the matching pants, right? Because this gives you a perfect foundation to now build your wardrobe on. A second bottom that I went for is obviously navy because I think we all have got our black pants. Now for spring, it would be really nice to have a navy. And for some reason, navy and gray are such a great contrast to match with the beautiful pastel colors of spring because it's not that much of a harsh contrast that black has gray and navy are a little bit more softer contrast to these colors now for tops i traditionally tend to lean more towards blouses because i think it's just so much more feminine it's prettier and it just looks more chic i do have one shirt but we'll get to that so for top, I decided to go for something that is printed, it's fun, and as you can see, it's off the shoulder, so you can actually wear it without the blazer to office. So something, as you can see, it works really well with the navy and the gray, and it has a bit of a, a print on it, but it's not over the top and it's not overwhelming. The second top I had in mind is actually this really super pretty lace top from Banana. And I actually have candidated this both as a top that you can wear on casual Friday with jeans or with your navy pants or with the gray pants. As a matter of fact, you can even wear this on casual Friday with a pair of denim. It's gonna look super cute. The three sleeveless tops that I decided to go for is obviously your light blue, your pink, and your gray. So once you have these three basic colors in your closet, they're feminine, they're pretty, you're all set. The beauty of these tops are, especially with this one, you can actually wear it and go out for Friday night and it looks really good even with the black suiting. Obviously the pink and the blue, you can't really go wrong with these two colors. Again, these are pieces that you can you know, dress down and dress up. And the blue one I really think looks really good with both the gray suiting and the navy suiting. And let's not forget, the pink one is also a great casual Friday top, right? Because it's just so pretty and so feminine. As we're approaching spring, obviously the weather is still not that cold, but it's still not that warm either. So we still do like to wear something that's a little warmer. Zara has these beautiful short sleeve fitted tops and I think they're perfect for suiting because they fit in really well and they look really chic when you wear them with a skirt. It has got this beautiful 50s look to it which I really really like. So I decided to go for the pale pink and the navy of course and I think it will look super chic with any of your outfits and even for the navy if you would be just all in navy and just wear like a contrast maybe a gray suede belt it will look super nice. As I said, I do have a shirt in the closet. However, it's a chambray shirt. And you all know how much I love chambray shirt. And I think this would be a really good addition for you to pair with your classic black pencil skirt, with your denim. It still looks good with a contrast denim on your casual Friday. You can wear it with the navy. I just think it looks super chic. Another sweater that I thought was a little bit fun and you know, again, nautical for spring, is obviously this super cute contrast nautical top from Zara. I just thought this is such a price friendly item and it brings so much of you know freshness into your overall closet. It's still very traditional you know being striped but it adds a little bit more extra fun and color into a closet. Especially if it's a professional closet you don't want things to be too obvious you don't want them to be too bold right and that goes also for your choice of prints make sure you choose a print that is not too overwhelming that is not too much because 
I find when you have a print that is very common, it's going to be very difficult to wear it again because it's going to stay with people's memory, kind of sticks with them. But if you wear something that is a little bit more spread out, it looks more chic. Now for dresses, I've introduced two options. There is your fitted, you know, your traditional uh, chef dress that's actually machine washable wool from Banana Republic. And why I chose these two dresses is because they actually have got sleeves. Because we know how warm it gets, you know, as we move towards the spring months. And having a sleeveless, uh, you know, dress. And on top of that, again, another jacket, it just becomes too hot. So these are perfect. You just have to throw the dress on and you're good to go. This really fits beautifully. It has this beautiful cut details that is actually very flattering on the female shape. It looks absolutely stunning. Now, if you're not into the fitted shift dress, then I would say go for this super pretty wrap around dress from Babaton. I, I really, really like this dress. It's just so cute. It's fun, it's flirty, but at the same time, it's still very classic and it's still very discreet. So you can easily wear this to office as well. So if you don't want to wear the shift dress, then go for the wrap dress that's available at Babaton. But why I chose navy is because I think navy is still very corporate color. It's chic and it's kind of a little bit of freshness from your corporate very core black. And you can match navy with more fun colors like the pinks, the grays, the tan. It doesn't look too intense. And now to everyone's favorite part, shoes. For spring, I really think you need two pairs of shoes. One that is more on trend and one that is a little bit more classic and I would say comfort and style at the same time. Now for your on trend, nothing's a spring like a sling bag. And I'm kind of in love with these retro, very Audrey Hepburn style um, sling bags that are now happening. There are not a lot of them in the stores. There are only two or three places that I have seen them. And I really fell in love with these blush pink ones from Kate Spade. It's just such a retro of Audrey Hepburn style. It's so pretty. And look at the pink. It works perfectly with your grays and your navies, right? So this is a very uh, fresh newness to your closet, especially in spring if you're looking for something new. For black, I, I thought you can go for a sandal. And you could either choose, if you're a girl who are okay with heels and you're comfortable with heels, then go for this style. But however, try to keep it really simple because you don't want it to have too many things happening on it because it's still corporate, it's still work. Now, if you're not into heels, then go for something that has got wedges like this. And I still think this is equally elegant and equally chic. Now, why sandals? I think it really, really forces you to keep that pedicure intact for the entire spring. But these are the, the shoes that I'm recommending for the spring. Now, for accessories, I don't think you need a lot. Maybe just another belt. However, we have the blush, we have the, you know, the nude, we got the black. But one thing that I felt is new for spring is the gray. And I really like this gray suede one from Banana Republic. So for all the product details, check out my blog because I have got all the product details there for you. And that brings us to the end of this week's video and I hope you have enjoyed watching it ladies. And as you saw, the closet I have put together is something that is perfect for someone who's venturing out into the corporate world or for someone who already has a corporate closet and is trying to bring some freshness and newness into it this spring. In the meantime, don't forget to leave your comments here below. I would love to hear from you. Until next week, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.